dodgy stumpings and fake fieldings are in the news in the last couple of weeks. Are you aware? Does Lewis McManus, the name Lewis McManus, ring any bells to you? He does, mate. He filled up my social media feed for about half a day. Half a day? So the world turns quickly here now, doesn't it? What's on to the next distraction? So, yeah, I mean, very briefly, Hampshire, Leicestershire, round one of the county championship. Hassan Azad, one of our favourites um, batsmen for Leicestershire, he was stumped by McManus, Robert. Um, so basically what McManus does, if you haven't seen this, I, I do really encourage you to go and have a look at it. Um, it's one of those when you first look at it, you kind of go, oh, OK. And then you just consider what's happened and it's all a bit of a shamble. So basically he whipped the bells off with his left glove whilst holding the ball in his right hand. Yep. So as he whipped them off, his hand's up here going, how's that? But is this one is the one he whipped yep. the bells off with. Um, obviously it's clear on replays, confusion seemed to be there. He seemed to appeal to the non-striking umpire as if he was going for an LB but it was a square leg that gave the decision. Yes. So he knew he'd done something wrong with the nature of his appeal. Yeah. I can't say that for certain. You know, I don't want to question Lewis McManus completely here, but he must have known what he was doing. Um, just quickly, I don't know, there's not really been an update on this since, but Paul Nixon, surprise, surprise, not happy. <laughs> um, he said, we have expressed our very strong views on the shocking incident to the match referee, and we trust that an extremely strong stance will be taken to keep the integrity of the game. <laughs> That's basically what Paul Nixon sounds like. Um, so obviously, he's not very Just happy. Like, I thought it was him. <laughs> James Vince, Hampshire captain. He is going to do what a captain does. It's like, what I used to have to do for you, Rob, when I was writing letters to the league, um, apologising for stuff that you might have done. <laughs> <laughs> um, he basically just said, look, McManus probably didn't know exactly what he'd done at the time. And if he and if Vince had known, he would have recorded his ad to the crease. So talk to me. Talk to me. So I watched this and I've watched it again three or four times and tonight. Again. <laughs> I just, not through my feed, but through YouTube. There's loads of videos about it. I, yeah. to, to start with, to me, I thought he was appealing for court behind and everyone was. Mm. That's how I took it. They were appealing for something and then he saw his foot move and he just whipped it off. And I, I think after he appealed, he knew straight away. That's yeah. my gut instinct watching it, was he did it, appealed, genuine appeal, mm. and then is like, what, what's this red thing up here? <laughs> Wouldn't it have been amazing? Awkward. Wouldn't it have been amazing if he was actually an amateur magician? <laughs> and then he did that, and then he went, ah, oh. <laughs> and then revealed the ball was in his left hand the whole time. Yeah. So. I, I think it was a genuine mistake I do at the start, but I yeah, think frazzled. He mm. after it kind of went, oh, we might get something out of this. So he kind of had that mm. moment going, oh, I might have done something wrong here, and I, yeah. you know, yeah. stuff like that happens. There's no replays. Umpire yeah. can't probably see that. Who's giving it? it no, everyone's like, confused, aren't they? Square leg gave it. Like, yeah, yeah, I'd, yeah. I, it, I it's it from it, both sides. It, yeah, it, it's a weird one. It, it's caused a real um, fuss, hasn't it, though? A lot of people are uh, saying how disgraceful it is. You know, it needs, you know, I don't want to get into that term of spirit of the game or integrity of the game, as Paul Nixon said, but they've been really upset by it. I'm surprised there hasn't been more of an update, or at least I haven't seen what the update is from the ECB. I'd have thought they'd have, you know, mopped it up by now. Maybe they just don't want to talk about it because it's another issue. But I just think that McManus would have known what he was doing, unless he was an amateur magician and the ball was in his hand all the time. Um, <laughs> I think he should have just walked up to Vince and, and just said, look, I've, I've dropped some one here, so should, yeah. can we call him back? Um, and I think that would have solved the problem. And he would have then come out of this with a heck of a lot of credit. So, yeah, anyway, uh, hopefully we don't have to talk about Lewis McManus again, unless it's him scoring a lot of runs. One point on Paul Nixon. He needs, yes. he needs to stay positive. Paul Nixon, stay positive, mate. <laughs> stay <laughs> okay, in there, Rob. Okay, I'll do what you say. <laughs> He's like an old PE teacher, isn't he? That's what it he is. is. It sounded like he had 40, 40 smokes a day when I did it. <laughs> Just some, no idea why. He had a lot while he was listening to that. <laughs>